Uh, I'd like to go back and redo some of these calculations that we got over here. Now, hopefully these were all calculations that you could kind of do in your head without writing down anything on paper, because we all have a very good intuition for how prices and money works. So there, there wasn't really need, much need to write this out mathematically. But just for the practice, let's write out mathematically how we would do these calculations, because that will help us when we're working with ratio units that we don't have such a good intuition for. Uh, so let's try to figure out again um, how much you would spend if you're buying two apples. So let's pretend that we don't know. Let's pretend we don't know how much it's going to cost for us to buy two apples. Well, we know we're buying two apples, and we know that the price is $3 for one apple. So we can do a kind of unit conversion. Uh, I'm hoping that you've gotten far enough in your class that you've already seen a few examples of these types of unit conversion problems. Uh, even if you haven't, though, hopefully it will be clear to you what we're doing here. We're buying two apples. They're costing $3 per apple. Remember that we can treat units like they're variables. We can make both of these fractions by putting this over one. And we can treat units like they're variables. Well, when you're multiplying two fractions, it's, you're allowed to cancel diagonally. When you're multiplying two fractions, you're allowed to cancel diagonally. So we can cancel this unit here with this unit here because they're both the same. And then what do we end up with? We end up with 2 times 3, which is 6. And the only unit we have left is dollars. So this is kind of the official way to prove that um, if you buy two apples at $3 per apple, the total cost will be $6. Now, of course, that was really totally obvious without doing it on paper like this, but it's important to see how we can do it on paper so that you can do these types of calculations um, with units where our intuition is not as strong. So now we've confirmed that this really would be $6. Let's try that again over here. Let's try to work out on paper meticulously how much it would cost us to buy three apples using this type of unit approach. Go ahead and pause the video and try to write that, write that out. All right, I hope you gave that a shot. Well, now we're starting with three apples. And again, the price is $3 for one apple. Again, we can cancel the units diagonally. Three times three is nine, and the only units left are dollars. Of course, one times one on the bottom is one. There's no need to keep writing that out over here. So now we've seen that three apples at this price would cost you $9. Of course, that was obvious anyway. Uh, let's do this example. How much would it cost you to buy 60 apples? Try working that out on paper using the same meticulous approach. All right, I hope you gave that a shot. 60 apples. At three dollars for one apple, the apples cancel. Three times sixty is 180, and the only units left are dollars. So we confirm what we already knew: 60 apples would cost you 180 dollars. Try one more. Let's say you're buying 43 apples. Try to work out on paper how much it would cost you to buy 43 apples using this notation. Pause the video and write that down. Now we can go through it together. 43 apples at $3.00. One apple, the apples cancel. Now we have to do three times 43. Well, that's 129. And the only units left are dollars. So 43 apples would cost 
Now, once again, we've learned that when we say the price of apples is $3 per apple, that really means that hypothetically, if you bought one apple, that would cost you $3. At first, that doesn't seem very useful because you're probably not going to buy exactly one apple. But then we saw that if you know how much it would cost you to buy one apple, you can easily figure out how much it would buy, it cost you to buy any, any, any number of apples. Uh, and now we've seen the official method to use the ratio units to work that out. We can do a little bit of a unit conversion problem.